Hi, everybody. Thanks for being here in story time. Hi, I'm so happy to see all of you. Thanks for being here in story time with me this morning. We have a very fun story time planned. We are going to sing songs and do activities all about different kinds of animals and different kinds of foods. So I want you to be thinking about what animals you like to pretend to be, or if you are an animal, what kind of animal you are. And I also want you to start thinking about what kind of foods do you like to eat. So those two things, we'll think about animals and we'll think about food. Okay, are we ready to get started? Yay! So the first thing we like to do in story time is we like to get our voices warmed up and we like to get our bodies warmed up. And so for that, we are going to sing our good morning and welcome song. So here's how this goes. We are going to sing this all the way through. We're going to move around while we sing it. And then we're going to sing it through again. And this time we're going to clap out the rhythm of the words. You guys ready to try it with me? All right, let's get our voices ready for singing. It goes like this. <clears throat> Good morning, I'm feeling good today. And when I feel this way, it makes me wanna say, Good morning, I'm feeling good today. And when I feel this way, it makes me wanna say, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, yes I am. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, yes I am. Did you sing it out with me? Yay! Okay, so we're gonna go through it one more time. We're gonna sing it through, but when we get to the I'm feeling good, we're gonna clap our hands together. Can I see your hands ready for clapping? Okay, you're gonna be great at this. Here we go. Good morning, I'm feeling good today. And when I feel this way, it makes me wanna say, Good morning, I'm feeling good today. And when I feel this way, it makes me wanna say, Get ready to clap. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, yes, I am. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, yes, I am. Excellent clapping! Amazing work! So there are other ways that we can snap out the rhythm to that or clap out the rhythm to it. And some of us have hands that we can clap and some of us have fingers that we can snap. But does anybody out there have hooves that they can stomp? I want to see if you can stomp out that rhythm with your hooves. Okay, ready? So I'm going to pretend that my hands are hooves and I'm going to stomp them out with my hooves. But if you've got real hooves, I want to hear you stomping on the ground and clapping your hooves together. Are we ready? All right, let's try it one more time. And this time we're going to stomp our hooves. Good morning, I'm feeling good today. And when I feel this way, it makes me want to say, Good morning, I'm feeling good today. And when I feel this way, it makes me want to say, Got your hooves ready? I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, yes, I am. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good, I'm Feeling good. Yes, I am. Yay! Amazing work. Great job, guys. I hope everybody is feeling good today because we're going to have a wonderful rest of story time. Okay. The next thing we like to do in story time is we are going to start thinking about animals. Okay. So this is a song that's pretty silly. Are you ready to hear a silly song? So this is a song called Little Brown Owl. So let's think about what do you do if you're going to pretend to be an owl? We could get our wings flapping like an owl. That's right. And what does an owl say? Hmm. I think an owl says, yeah, hoo hoo, hoo. Very good. So for this, we're going to pretend to be an owl with our wings flapping and our voices going hoo hoo. All right, here's how our song goes. Hoo hoo went the little brown owl one day. Hoo hoo went the little brown owl. Hoo hoo went the little brown owl one day and we all went hoo hoo hoo. 
But we know owls go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We know owls go la di da di da. They don't say who who who. Hold on, was that right? What do owls say? Yeah, I thought the owls went hoo hoo hoo, but the song said owls go la di da di da. Something, something didn't go right with that song. Can we try it again? Let's think of another animal that we can think of and do it a different way because that is too silly. That's not what owls say. Let's, let's try it with a duck. All right. All right. So for the duck, duck has little wings too. So let's get our little duck wings here. And what does a duck say? Quack, quack, quack. That's right. So we're going to quack like a duck and flap our little duck wings. Can we give it a try? All right. Oh, and for this song, our duck will be white. We'll have a little white duck. Okay, ready? Let's try it again with the duck and see if it goes better this time. Ready? Quack, quack, went the little white duck one day. Quack, quack, went the little white duck. Quack, quack, went the little white duck one day. And we all went quack, quack, quack. But we know ducks go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We know ducks go la di da di da. They don't go quack, quack, quack. Oh no, it happened again. <laughs> oh no, this is the silliest song ever. All right, let's try it with one more. I know there are probably some animals watching and I know we're not gonna mess this up. Are there any horses out there watching story time today? Oh good, all right. And what do horses say? Yeah, they go, nay, nay. And one thing I love about horses is some horses have big, beautiful manes. So when we pretend to be a horse, let's uh, wave our mane and pretend like we're a horse, okay? And if you're really a horse, you are gonna be perfect at this. All right, so let's sing it through about our horse, our brown horse. We're gonna say nay, nay, and we're going to uh, make sure that our manes are moving in the wind. Okay, ready? <clears throat> nay, nay, went the little brown horse one day. Nay, nay, went the little brown horse. Nay, nay, went the little brown horse one day. And we all went nay, nay, nay. But we know horses go la di da di da, la di da di da. La di da di da, we know horses go. La di da di da, they don't go. Nay, nay, nay. Oh. oh no, horse! Is that true? What do horses say? Well, that was a very silly song. But you know what? I think we have one more animal that we need to try, and I don't think it'll get messed up for this one. Let's try it for a unicorn. So how do we act like a unicorn? And if there are any unicorns watching, I want you to show me. Yep, you gotta have a horn on top of your head. That's right. And what do unicorns do? Hmm. Unicorns are pretty magical. So maybe we could sparkle a little bit. So we'll make our unicorn horn and we'll sparkle. So we'll say, sparkle, sparkle went the unicorn. And usually unicorns I think are white or kind of rainbow colored or kind of pink. So let's talk about a beautiful pink unicorn with our unicorn horn and our unicorn's gonna go sparkle. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Get out your unicorn horn or if you're a real unicorn, you've already got a horn there so you're all set. Sparkle, sparkle went the pink unicorn one day. Sparkle, sparkle went the pink unicorn. Sparkle, sparkle went the pink unicorn one day. And we all went sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Oh no, it's going to happen again. <gasps> but we know unicorns go 
la di da di da la di da di da la di da di da we know unicorns go la di da di da they don't go sparkle 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 oh no that is the silliest song ever so the good thing is you can take that song and sing it about absolutely anything that you want. That's a really funny one to sing, and that is a really good one to sing with your whole family, too. You can put in whatever animal you like in there. you got to think about what do they look like, how do I act like that animal, and what do they say. And you'll be able to make everybody laugh and be super silly when you say that. No matter whatever, no matter what animal it is, they're all going to say, la-di-da-di-da. Nice job, guys. Thank you so much for singing that song with me. Okay, we've got another song to do. And remember earlier when I asked you guys to think about what kind of food do you like to eat? So I brought some different kinds of fruits and vegetables that we like to eat. And we have a very fun song where we're going to get up and move our whole bodies while we sing about these different foods that we like to eat. I brought some of my favorite fruits and vegetables. And for this song, we are going to pretend to be those fruits and vegetables, and then we get to pretend to eat them. So it's going to be really fun. So the first one that I have, I bet you'll know what this is. <sighs> What's this guy? Mm, bananas. Who here likes to eat bananas? I do. I like to eat bananas. So for this song, we are going to make our bodies kind of banana shaped. So what does this banana look like? It's kind of long, and it's got a part that's up high, so we're going to make our bodies kind of look up high like a banana, like this. Okay, ready? So follow along with me. We'll get this. It'll be really fun. So here's what we do. Our song goes, we're going to form the banana, we're going to peel the banana, and then we're going to go bananas. Are you ready? Okay, here's how it goes. <clears throat> Form banana, form, form banana, form banana, form, form banana, peel banana, peel, peel banana, peel banana, peel, peel banana, go bananas, go, go bananas, go bananas, go, go bananas. Nice work. Excellent job going bananas. Okay, let's try another one. Now that we know how this goes, let's try something else. So I brought, can you tell what this one is? It's a little bit squishy looking, but this is an orange. Who here likes to eat oranges? Me. And what about orange juice? Does anybody like to drink orange juice? Oh, I love orange juice. Okay. So we're going to try and make our bodies into the shape of this orange. So we'll go kind of round for the orange. It's a little bit squashy. Then we'll peel our orange and then we're going to squeeze the orange to get that delicious orange juice. Okay, ready? Let's give it a try. So we say, form the orange, form, form the orange, form the orange, form, form the orange. Peel the orange, peel, peel the orange, peel the orange, peel, peel the orange. <gasps> squeeze the orange, squeeze, squeeze the orange, squeeze the orange, squeeze, squeeze the orange. Mm. Great job squeezing that orange. I cannot wait to drink that orange juice. Okay, I brought another one. You want to try another one? Okay. I also brought, can you tell what this is? I brought an apple. This is my favorite kind of apple, a green apple, because they're sour. Does anyone here like to eat apples? Yeah? Does anyone here like to eat sour apples? That's my favorite kind. All right, so we're going to form an apple, make ourselves look kind of like an apple. We are going to peel the apple. And then I like to eat apples cut up into slices. So we're going to slice the apple. Ready to slice this apple with me? All right, let's give it a shot. First, we got to form it. Form the apple. Form, form the apple. Form the apple. Form, form the apple. Peel the apple. Peel, peel the apple. Peel the apple. Peel, peel the apple. Slice the apple. Slice, slice the apple. 
Slice the apple. Slice, slice the apple. Good slicing. That was fun to do. All right, I got a weird one. We've done all fruit so far, but I did bring a vegetable. Are you ready to be a really funny vegetable? Okay, check out what I brought. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a potato. Does anyone here like to eat potatoes? <sighs> I love to eat potatoes. I like to eat mashed potatoes. French fries are made of potatoes. Mm, all kinds of potatoes are good. So, for this, we are going to have to make our bodies into the shape of this potato. Now, potatoes are kind of lumpy, so we're going to make a pretty lumpy shape when we make our potato. And then we're going to peel our potato, and then we're going to mash the potato. Are you ready to make some mashed potatoes with me? Okay. Let's try and make our bodies look potato shaped. I think we can do it. Okay, so it goes like this. Form potato, form, form potato, form potato, form, form potato, peel potato, peel, peel potato, peel potato, peel, peel potato, mash potato, mash, mash potato, mash potato, mash, mash potato. Mm, I love mashed potatoes. Great job! You guys were so good at being potatoes. <laughs> so I brought one more thing that some of us like to eat. I brought something especially for any unicorns or any horses that are watching Storytime today. I brought for them some wheat. Do you guys like to eat wheat and hay? So... Yeah, horses, and I think unicorns, like to chomp on grass and wheat and hay like this. So I thought it would be fun to pretend to be some wheat. So let's look at what it looks like. It's long and tall. So we're going to make our bodies big and long and tall. And when the wind blows, it kind of moves back and forth. So we're going to go like this and kind of sway back and forth. Then you don't really peel this. You do cut it. So instead of peeling our wheat, we're going to cut the wheat and then we're going to chomp it. Are you guys ready to do some fun chomping? Okay. So remember, we're going to be swaying wheat. We're going to chop it down and then we're going to chomp it. All right, let's give it a shot. Form the wheat. Form, form the wheat. Form the wheat. Form, form the wheat. Chop the wheat. Chop, chop the wheat. Chop the wheat. Chop, chop the wheat. Chomp the wheat. Chomp, chomp the wheat. Chomp the wheat. Chomp, chomp the wheat. Nice job! So that's a super fun one. You can think of whatever food you like and put it in there. So I did some of my favorite fruits and vegetables, but uh, you can feel free to put your own in. If you've got hay or wheat or grass, I one time had a kid suggest that we do it with pizza. Whatever your food is, you can put it in there. So that's a good one to keep doing at home. Thanks, guys! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for doing story time with me today. This was so fun. We had such a great time. And this was just a short little sample of story time. We have story times on our Facebook page um, all summer long where we read books and sing songs and do stories. And there's so much more that you guys can do. So I hope that you will check some of those out. You can also, of course, come to the library and check out books and read them with your grown-ups. So nice job, guys. So the very last thing we do in story time is we have to say goodbye for now. So we'll get out our hands or our hooves for waving. And we sing like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. Yay, friends! We wave goodbye like this. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye.